Hey everybody, there are a number of deaths making the news recently, garnering different amounts of press. This week we saw the funeral or public memorial of Kobe Bryant and his daughter, the culmination of a number of memorials for the former NBA player, from the Super Bowl to the All-Star Game to this. There have been a, a lot of public mourning for Bryant and his family. Now, even though I initially made a video to discuss the suddenness of his death and how that can be very jarring to people, I can honestly say that I haven't watched any of these other memorials. People have mentioned that the different speeches and how they went, and I'm sure a number of new memes will come out of it, but I can't speak to anything that was said because I didn't watch a minute of it. This is partly because I have no real emotional attachment to Kobe Bryant, and mostly because without that personal connection, watching others mourn for him seems very voyeuristic to me. Mourning is a very personal thing. It can be raw and exposes a person a great deal. And when I'm not feeling that pain myself and I'm watching someone genuinely in pain like that, it feels like I'm intruding, like I'm using them for entertainment. And that just doesn't seem right to me. Never has. When the local news goes, and does interviews with someone on the scene of a tragedy and the person is just distraught and racked with pain, my thought is, get that camera out of their face. This is private and I generally turn it off. So that was a big death headline this week, but there was another death that made a little bit of news this past week. On Monday, February 24th, it was reported that mathematician Katherine Johnson died at the age of 101. She gained her public notoriety late in life as her story as a pivotal figure in NASA's space program was portrayed in the film Hidden Figures. At a time when NASA was still mostly segregated, as was most of the United States at the time, her mathematical skills were so trusted that it is said that John Glenn refused to fly by the new computer calculations unless Johnson herself had verified them. She worked on the Mercury, Apollo, and space shuttle programs and was a tireless advocate for science and technology education. Hers was a quiet contribution to society that nevertheless had a genuinely lasting effect. And because she lived a long, full, and quiet life, the announcement of her death was equally and appropriately subdued on the national stage. But I have to say thank you, Ms. Mrs. Johnson, for all you've done. The last death in the news that made a little bigger headlines than Katherine Johnson was the death of Mad Mike Hughes. Mad Mike was a professional daredevil and was known for being outspoken about his belief in a flat earth. Mike died on February 22nd when his steam-powered rocket's parachute assembly malfunctioned and he and the craft crashed to earth after a brief ascent. Now, it's been reported that many times that Mr. Hughes was building these increasingly more powerful steam rockets in order to get high enough in order to confirm for himself what the shape of the earth was. And many people have commented that this was a stupid reason to die. You'll not hear that from me. Because that's not why he died. Mike Hughes himself has stated in interviews that the steam-powered rocket projects had nothing to do with his flat earth claims. He was a daredevil. He entertained people. And these rocket projects were about doing that thing he loved to do, pushing the boundary and thrilling people. And seeing it in that light, Mad Mike Hughes' death in this tragic crash is no more stupid than Mythbuster Jesse Combs, who died back in August, trying to break a land speed record, or NASCAR driver Dale Earnhardt, or anyone else in the entertainment industry that has died just in the act of doing their job, or any mountain climber or athlete that falls or sustain the critical injury doing that thing they love to do. Whatever he may have personally believed about the shape of the earth, and some say that that may even have been a marketing ploy, it seems his core belief was based in entertaining people and bringing a brief moment of joy to his fans. And that's not stupid at all. Now, there is very little information online about Mike or any surviving family he may have had, but my condolences go out to them and any of his friends that are mourning his death. Take care, everybody.